Hi everyone, it's me again, Teacher Will, and welcome back to our statistics and probability subject. This is the fourth video of module 4, the sampling and sampling distribution. And for today's video, we will learn about the central lim limit theorem. One of the fundamental theorems of probability is the central limit theorem, and we will discuss more about this um, theorem which tells about the shape of the distribution of the sample mean when the sample size is sufficiently large. Okay, so let's start. The central limit theorem states that as the sample size becomes bigger, the sampling distribution of the sample mean can be approximated by a normal probability distribution. And the sampling distribution of the sample means taken with replacement from a population n. So, kapag with replacement, that is infinite. Um, population. With a population mean and variance will approach a normal distribution according to the central limit theorem. Since central limit theorem um, deals with infinite population, we will use um, this formula so in your mean is equal to the mean of the population. The variance um, is equal to the variance of the population divided by the sample size. And the standard deviation is equal to the standard devi um, deviation of the population divided by the square root of the sample size. So central limit theorem is applicable for a sufficiently large sample sizes and greater than or equal to 30. So again, in the statistics, we consider um, more than 30, 30 and more than 30 um, as a good sample. So in central limit theorem, when computing for the Z value, you are going to use the formula Z is equal to the difference of the sample mean, this is sample mean, and the population mean over the quotient of our um, population standard deviation and the square root of the sample size. As you can see, um, ang formula natin magagamit lang siya kapag ang given ang ating population standard deviation. And, pero kung hindi naman, pwede pa rin naman siyang gamitin as long as yung ating um, sample size is greater than or equal to 30. Yeah. So, ang mangyayari na, i-replace lang natin yung population standard division ng um, sample standard division. Paano naman kung less than 30 ang sample, pero given yung ating population standard deviation. So, sa tingin nyo, kaya, um, can we still apply central limit theorem? And, of course, that is a yes. Pwede, as long as known ang ating population standard deviation or variance, pwede, pwede pa rin ganito ng central limit theorem. Okay? Bali, hindi mo lang talaga siya magagamit kapag small size lang ang ating um, sample and hindi given ang population standard deviation. Other, other cases, pwede mo po siyang gamitin. Let's have some example problems involving sampling distribution of the sample means. Example number one. So, the record of weight of male population follows the normal distribution. Its mean and standard deviations are 70 kg and 50 kg respectively. If a researcher considers the records of 50 males, then what would be the mean and standard deviation of the chosen sample? Okay. Una, let's identify the given in the problem. Step, step one. Ano ba yung mga given natin? So, ang given natin, ang population daw, may record daw ng population na ang mean niya is 70 kg. So, population mean is 70 kg. While the population standard deviation is 15 kg. If a researcher considers the record of 50 males, ayan, so 50 males lang po ang kinuha niya, so yan ang ating sample size. Ayan. Then what would be the mean and standard deviation of the chosen sample? It deals with infinite um, population, so we will use central limit theorem, wherein um, ang ating mean daw is equal to, our sample mean it will be equal to our population mean. Therefore, ang um, sample mean po natin is, 70. Ang sample standard deviation naman natin is um, equal to the um, population standard deviation over the square root of our sample size. So, ang population standard deviation natin is 15. Ayan. So, over the square root of our sample size natin is 15. Over 15. Ayan. So, 
So our standard deviation, sample standard deviation is 2.121. Okay. So that's it. Again, our sample mean natin is 70 and our sample um, standard deviation is 2.12. Next, sample number two. During this time of pandemic, a certain group of welfare recipients received cash benefits of 1,100 per week with a standard deviation of 200. If random sample of 25 is taken, what is the probability that their mean benefit is greater than 1, 2 per week? Ayan. So, yung nahanap na dito is probability. And again, central limit theorem follows um, normal distribution. Now, so, ibig sabihin ang gagamitin po natin is Z. So, to compute for the probability, kailangan lang natin kunin yung Z value using the um, central limit theorem. So, identify muna natin yung given natin. So, A. What are the given? So, we have, um, yeah, so population mean, given ang ating population mean, 1,100. Yeah. And ang standard deviation daw is um, 200. But, we, ang random sample natin is 25. Ngayon, ang tinatanong, what is the probability that the mean, ang mean daw, is 1,200? Given tayo yung mean na 1,000, greater than 1,200. So, next step, um, gamitin natin yung formula ng central limit theorem. In computing Z, we have uh, mean minus population mean over standard deviation square root of n. So, equals to we have 1,200 minus 1,100 all over 1,200 divided by um, square root of 25. Yeah. So, the answer is 2.5. So, ang z natin is 2.5. Yeah. Next, uh, we will sketch the area under the normal curve and find na, pwede na natin hanapin yung probability. So, let me see. Um, yeah, drawing tayo ng normal curve. Yeah. Okay. So, tandaan nyo ha, um, sa normal curve natin, yung idodrawing yung normal curve, eh, huwag nyo naman ididikit yung, ano niya, yung tail niya sa ating horizontal line. Okay po? And again, yung ating mean is at the center po siya. Yan yung zero in our standard um, normal curve. Yeah, so, this is one. By 1, then we have 2, then we have 3. So, 2.5, that's a banda dito siya. Banda dito. So, yung hinahanap po natin, 2.5. Ang hinahanap po natin is greater than. Kaya, ang area na hinahanap sa itong part. So, sa Z-table, kung maalala ninyo, using Z-table, kaya natin hanapin yung area na to, which is between 2.5 and 0. And that is... That mean ang 2.5, that is um, 0.498. So, yan yung area na yan. So, to get the probability um, that our uh, mean okay, is um, greater than 1, 2. Since um, ang buong kalahati is 0.5 or 0.3, ima-minus lang natin itong part na itong part na itong na 0.4938 ay makukuha na natin itong part na ito. So, 0.5 minus 0.4938 The answer is 0.0062 Ay, hindi na pala siya makita dyan sa ano natin. Anyway, um, ang answer po natin ay 0.0062 Sulat ko na lang dito kasi hindi pala makita. Yeah. So, the probability that their mean benefit is greater than 1 to per week is 0.62%. Another example, there are 64 Kawika hatchlings in a marine sanctuary in Batangas, which can clip their way to the sea from the shore, from the shore at an average speed of 0 0.025 meter per second with a Standard deviation of 0.012 meter per second. 
Assume that the bar of wall is normally dislocated and 16 polygon hatch links are chosen at random. What is the probability that they have an average speed of less than 0.03 meter per second? Um, ang nahanap ulit natin probability. So, using central limit theorem, um, yun din nahanapin since it follows a normal distribution, um, gagamitin lang din natin, nahanapin lang din natin ang Z value, then we will use the Z table to get the probability. Okay, so una, let's identify the given. Yan, so letter A, what are the givens? Yan, so yung total population natin is 64. Ngayon, nakuha lang daw tayo ng 16. So ito ay, ang ating sample ay 16. Ngayon, sa so 64 pa uwi ka na ating population, ang average speed niya daw is 0.25, uh, 0.025. So, yan ay ating population ni 0.025. At ang kanyang population, uh, kanyang standard deviation ng is 0.012. Again, ng 64 per week. So, ito ay population standard deviation. So, ngayon, ang question is, what is the probability that they have an average speed of less than 0.3 meter per second? And so, let's assume that the, um, the sample mean or the mean of this week's in per week is um, 0.03. Tignan natin anong probability na 0 0.03 siya. So, next, ang gawin natin is um, compute ng z-value using the central limit theorem formula. Okay, the mean, sample mean minus the population mean over the population standard deviation over square root of n. So, we have uh, 0 0.03 minus 0 0.055 Ayan. over uh, 0 0.012 over square root of, ilan yan? 60. Yeah. So, the answer is 1.67. Kasi 1.6666 na siya. So, um, kunin lang natin ang two decimals. So, 1.67. Yan yung Z. Ngayon, sa ating normal curve, kahit hindi na rin na makakasya dito sa next slide na natin. So, third step, we illustrate using the normal curve yung ating hinahanap na area. Okay? Let's see, this is yung ating Z. So, point, ano yun, 1.67 yung Z natin kanina, di ba? Let's see, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3. So, 1.67, sabihin na natin yung banda niya. Tapos na kalahat. Sabihin na natin yung banda niya. 1.67. Ngayon, ang hinahanap daw po is less than. So, yun. Less than ng 1.67. Kung i-analyze natin yung figure, it covers yung buong kalahati ng ating normal curve. So, kasama na kaagad yung 50. More than, alam na natin agad na more than 50% yung ating, ang, ang less than 1.67. Ngayon, ang kailangan natin hanapin ay yung part na to. Yan, which is, kaya natin hanapin sa ating Z-table. So, sa Z-table, we can find the, the area between the sheet and the Okay, 1.67 to I, 0.4525, sama? This is 0.4525, ayan. So, to get the probability that our sample mean is um, less than uh, 0 0.03 meter per second, we will just add um, 0.5 and 0.45. So, the answer is 0.9525. The probability that they have an average speed of less than 0 0.03 meter per second is 95.25% or 0.9525. Diba? Napakalaki yung chance na mas mababa sa 0.3 yung average speed nila. Okay? So, that's all. Yan. So, ganun lang ang tatandaan ninyo about central limit children. It follows a normal distribution. So, when we find the probability ng sample mean, um, hindi na natin kailangan i-draw pa yung sample, sample distribution table natin. Um, we will use na lang yung ating Z table or Z value. We will compute the Z value and get the probability. At ang central limit it follows the um, 
theorem of infinite population. Kaya, when we want to know the or estimate the sample um, statistic, um, we will just um, use yung um, theorem ng infinite um, population. Nag-discuss natin sa last na video natin. Okay, thank you again for listening and make sure to hit the notification bell to get updated with our lessons.